Welcome back. This is Part Time Guardian. Have you ever heard of the Chosen One? You were the Chosen One! No, not that one. This one. That's right, in this video we will talk about the Traveler's Chosen. It's the new exotic sidearm within Destiny 2. And with this sidearm, you can do a lot of things to existing builds and also dominate in a lot of activities. Again, with just some of its intrinsic perks. If you like this video, if it provides value to you, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. In this video, I will go over quickly how to obtain this weapon, an overview of its perks, and again, as I mentioned earlier, how it can supplement your build. So let's talk about first how you get it. It's, it's, it's one of the easier quests, so it's kind of in the middle. I know we had stuff like Devil's Ruin that was really, really simple, and then we had some that's more difficult. This one's probably in the middle and allows you to really play through a lot of content that will be retiring within the next season. So to do this quest, you're basically gonna to talk to Zavala in this tower. From there, you're going to go to different locations and basically do very similar content. You go to Asher Mir on IO and you're gonna complete a Lost Sector. You're gonna complete a specific strike and a heroic adventure. On Titan, you're gonna to talk to Sloan, again, Lost Sector. You're gonna open three enemy chests and complete a strike. You're gonna go back to Zavala mid quest. Then you're going to go to Brother Vance on Mercury, complete two strikes and a heroic adventure, and then visit Anna Bray on Mars scan a Rasputin signal, defeat five Escalation Protocol bosses, and a heroic venture. Again, this entire quest takes probably a few hours to complete without any particularly hard requirements. Also, it's good to do because you will get drops from some of the harder to acquire weapons from year ones, like DFA or Osprey or Mindbender exhibitions and things like that. And some of those are required to get some titles within the game. So again, for those who are kind of waiting for those, like Wayfarer, this will be a good time to get those done. So with this, you're going to get a weapon that has some really, really unique perks and again, complements a lot of existing builds that I already have. So first off, it's a 300 RPM kinetic sidearm. So this is very similar, except it's a kinetic, to something like Last Hope. Again, one of my favorite sidearms that has quick bursts and is deadly, super deadly at close range. With this being kinetic, you can pair it with many strong energy weapons, so it offers a great deal of flexibility. I mean, you could even go potentially with two sidearms, but that would be kind of a crazy build. Maybe I'll have to make that. We'll have to see. The perks also are pretty strong. It has armor-piercing rounds, which allow it to go past shields and never penetrate targets. It has particularly high aim assistance, and its recoil pattern is largely vertical, which helps staying on target, which is good for something like a sidearm. With a quick burst, and with having that vertical, and with the aim assist, it's going to be pretty deadly in close range. In addition to this, it has the ability to stack up 10 times something called Gift of the Traveler, which increases your reload, handling, and target acquisition for each stack. So if you think about that, as you get each stack, each of those get better. And with reload, that's especially gonna come in handy later. In PVE, each kill gives you a stack. In PVP, it gives you three stacks per kill. With these stacks, again, like I said earlier, the reload is crazy fast and allows an almost constant barrage of bullets. And again, the target acquisition handling increases are really useful too. So obviously this weapon is gonna be a real beast in PVE, but in PVP it's really great too. Because again, Last Hope, like I said, which I used previously, it's a very similar archetype. It can be very dominant, allows you to be extremely aggressive. And again, with this one, again, because it's kinetic, but also because of some of the expanded perks, again, it can be really useful in PVP. It's very forgiving. So if you wanna get in your opponent's face and get vertical above him, you can basically miss a shot and you can still have time to recover. And again, as you stack up those stacks, you can get such high reload that again, it can be even more forgiving. With a high aim assist and target acquisition, and again, with reload, you can just keep the bullets flying even while you're moving around and staying mobile. Uh, that's why I like it on my Hunter, because on my Hunter, I stay constantly mobile. I try to stay invisible. You know, I show that in other videos. So again, that's where that can be really useful. So again, just with those, it's a really strong weapon, but then let's add the intrinsic perk on top of that. Gathering a light allows you when you do a long reload, so you take all those 10 stacks, you reload them and consume them, you could at that point generate melee, grenade, and ability energy. On average, that means if you've just thrown a grenade and you get the 10 stack, even without any special mods or any special abilities, you can get that grenade back again. So again, that can allow for a really broken build, which I'll probably expand into some of those in the future, but let's talk about how that can even supplement existing builds you already have. Let's take my previous monster PVE build, which I know a lot of you guys have liked. I've gotten a ton of good reactions, ton of subscribers from it, but that one was built specifically around sidearms. You can add this to that and just add to its destructive power. 
So again, I won't get into all the details because I have that in my previous build, but what you can do here is you can take some of the key components and use that just with the sidearm, or you can do that with other builds that you may have, and that is Swift Charge. Swift Charge, when you get rapid kills with sidearms, SMGs or autos, you get charges of light. So that's the first thing, charge your light up. After that, you can use Surprise Attack. If you reload or if you reload or ready an SMG, you basically use the charges of light and you get five bullets that are double damage per charge of light. So again, if you have extra charges of light, you can actually get up to, I think in my, when I was playing around with the build, you might be able to even get it further than this, depending on what mods you put on. I got up to 20 bullets, which again, those are double damage bullets. And one of the ways I did that is with a supercharge mod. And a supercharge mod allows you two additional charges up to, to max of five. So you can see here that I was able to get that up to 20. And basically what that is, is that's 20 bullets that will be double the damage of what you normally get with a sidearm. And again, where this could even have more ability than some of my previous builds is with, with, with Gift of the Traveler, it's so fast, has such good target acquisition that you can greatly increase your DPS over my previous builds with these double bullets. Again, you get double damage, but also you get that speed of the max reload because you're getting that charged up over time. It can totally wreck PV opponents and become the ultimate ad clearing build. And if you're really good at getting quick uh, kills in PVP, depending on the mode that you're playing, that's another opportunity there. Then where you're done with those stacks, you do the long reload, and then you get your grenade back. And if you had charges of light stacking up, you also get your overpowered bullets again. So you can tell both of those have very similar ways to power off of that reload or readying a weapon. So again, basically you have two different perks going on at the same time. They synergize really well, and you can constantly go in that loop of getting your grenade, of getting all the charges, of being able to get the double overpowered bullets, and then being able to do the other things like the reload and things like that. Again, it just, it just completely synergizes. And again, can make a really monster build that can allow you to stay in a lot of content so again, guys, you can see why I'm calling this really the chosen one. It's a great sidearm. It's fairly easy to get. Again, it's not going to get sunset. You can power up these other mods that you're going to be able to take in the next season. And who knows what we'll be able to do when we get to the next season. So it's very useful. Again, you can do a ton of really great builds with this. So again, that's the video, guys. I hope you guys really appreciate it. If you did, feel free to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Get in the community. Let's talk about what you want to see next. I know the season's winding down. But there's still lots of opportunities to kind of wrap things up that you haven't gotten it done over the last few seasons. So if there's stuff, ideas you have for videos, or if there are things that you need help with or ideas like how do I finish this content, drop in the community let's talk about it. And again, I'll see you Guardians in the Tower.